Hello, hello, hello. Okay, yesterday I had these um, Kate Spade sunglasses tighten up. And I said to the lady, is it true that if I take care of my sunglasses, they, they can last for a lifetime? Because I heard that, you know, uh, these people that buy really, really expensive um, sunglasses expect them to last a lifetime. So I'm always having to get adjustments on my, my regular glasses. I don't need glasses, but I correct my vision to 1515 and it feels really good to my brain. So she said, the worst thing is when you leave your glasses in the car, because when the glasses get hot, that loosens your frames. And I thought, oh, how did you know what I do to my sunglasses? And then the other thing is, is that you keep your glasses in a case. And a lot of times I didn't do that. And then throwing your hundred pound purse on your glasses, that's not good. But if you, I found these glasses in the thrift store. They were a really good deal for $3. What I do for a living is I shop at thrift stores and then I resell the stuff. So last month, one of the things that I sold successfully were purses, Michael Core purses. And I have uh, a purse now with a watcher. That doesn't mean it's gonna sell. But I actually bought four really nice purses, reasonable, last month. And then today is half day price at the um, thrift store on books. And I'm trying my hand at books. Uh, so far, they're not doing too well. So I'm gonna keep trying a little bit on the books. I think it's like anything, you have to learn it. Uh, I have good success selling sunglasses and clothes. Okay, so I went on my videos, I did videos on why we want to prepare and stockpile. Lots of things. The one thing I didn't uh, mention though, and I told my son, I'm looking right now at, at like some look. See the people over there in the tents? See the little thing? Okay, so uh, the rent mor moratorium um, runs out at the end of the month, the 30th, unless, you know, Governor Newsom, I don't see how they can keep not paying their rent. A lot of people with money are leaving California. There was a migration out of uh, San Francisco so this moratorium is ending at the end of the month and people could either end up homeless or it's strongly per possible they're going to migrate somewhere else cheaper. It's possible they didn't pay their rent this whole time and they're going to take that money and live somewhere cheaper. Um, it's possible... Um, I heard there's like, there's no people in the motels and, um, you know, rooms. Uh, last time we had the homeless, uh, there was some deal struck up with the government. So they might convert those to government housing somehow. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure something's going to happen, but I'm not sure. I'm glad I'm not living in La Mesa. I will say that. Okay, so those were some of the reasons that I mentioned that we want to prepare and stockpile. So uh, last night you saw my veggies and you might have been thinking, well, Rhoda, so what? Well, it, it's actually a good point. When you buy packages that are twice as full, then you're buying essentially two for one. That bell pepper was 50 cents. They were two for a dollar. By buying the, the bell pepper that was two times as big as, as uh, the rest of them, it was like half price. Today I'm going to do markdown shopping. The best approach to markdown shopping is you go to the places you know have the markdowns every day and check it out. Uh, I bought a lot of nice cookies marked down. Um, 
And the Markdown cookies are, are much better than the dollar store cookies. And they're no, no more expensive, really. So um, I bought, so what I did is I bought a, a lot of vegetables because I bought the packages twice as big. You know, I searched around like the bean sprouts. It just takes a second to locate the one with the most in it. It's really gonna save you money. So I have all these vegetables. So now I can look for markdowns, you know. I did find some yesterday. If I was desperate for um, produce, I could have bought it half price. If you have 99 cent store, I buy a lot of good stuff marked down. I'm not finding cans like I used to, but I'm finding a lot of good um, produce. And at the beginning of the, the month, I stockpile my uh, freezer, if you guys have been watching me, full of frozen food, like those frozen sandwiches, frozen burritos, uh, chicken pot pies, chicken sandwiches, uh, cheeseburgers, barbecued sandwiches, you know, frozen sandwiches for a dollar. Generally, I always buy a hamburger out midday when I'm working. Oh, and big thanks to the follower because I've been able to work almost every day this week easily. So if you have vegetables, you saw the vegetables I bought, potatoes, sweet potatoes and rice, then if you buy your meat marked down, so the meats I generally buy are chicken, hamburger and bacon. And so this last uh, week, I bought the, they don't have them at all of the uh, Walmarts. Walmart, I'm going over there to look for markdowns after I'm done here. But I bought the $5 package of chicken. That was the chicken legs. And they're big. I still have two left. I, I cooked them with the green salsa and, you know, I made burritos with the leftover chicken. I'm probably just going to eat that. I eat all my leftovers or I freeze them. Okay, so we have the vegetables I bought with the twice as big package. And now I'm searching around for markdown vegetables. And so I had like, I'm having big portions of vegetables. And then I have a carb, which is one quarter of the plate. And I have the meat that is one quarter of a plate. And so you have plenty of food and you're not gonna be starving. And then I buy the hamburger marked down. Uh, last time I think it was smart and final, I'm not sure. But my son said the Angus burgers at Walmart are really good, I might buy some of those. And then I buy bacon ends. I like to have bacon in my freezer because you can always have bacon and eggs. Lots of bacon and eggs. It's gonna get you by. You start doing some of this, you guys, you're not going to run out of food. And if you need the food at the food banks, it's a good idea to get it. I heard in Texas, a lot of people are ra are um, immigrating from California to Texas. Texas is not an easy, uh, easy place to live if you've never lived there. I used to go there. I heard, and I wouldn't doubt it, you can fly to Texas for $49 from California? But there was a uh, food rationing in Texas at the food banks. Now out here in California, we have liberal social services. If I want to, uh, in, the, in this city I'm living now, I can literally go to the food bank every day of the week. All I do is I show verification of my address. I can go over there to the Salvation Army and get food for a month just by showing them my address and there's no qualification for that okay so i bought uh you know the fresh vegetables potatoes sweet potatoes and rice and so then you'll see me so now we're at the last week of the month and i've been eating cheap all month i've been being cheap all month okay so and I bought three of the five ounce cheeses from Dollar Tree. I find them to be pretty good and they, uh, good. 
and they uh, make good macaroni and cheese like a half a one you can make yourself a nice batch of macaroni and cheese okay so at the end of the month a lot of times i will buy the big bag of french fries to you know get me through the month or some of that frozen food but what i also like to buy is hot dogs fish sticks, tuna, salmon, peanut butter, and eggs. Let me give you a shot. So now um, the hot dogs can be found for 77 cents at Walmart. You can buy a big bag of uh, fish sticks or fish fillets for about 350. Tuna is cheap at Walmart. Um, you know, I ran into that street guy and he, and he was eating chips and uh, yellowfin tuna and drinking copious amounts of alcohol. <laughs> and he said, do I want to eat half of his tuna? And I go, oh no, I, could, I couldn't take your tuna. I just wanted to know what kind it was. And so because of him, I started buying yellowfin tuna and he goes, well, um, you could shoplift this. <laughs> and I, oh, oh no, I could not do that. When I am out shopping in the thrift stores, I look worse than the street people. Um, you know, I was watching this, this is, okay, I wanna tell you guys this, Homestead Tessie Frugal Mobile Home Living. She did the dumpster diving successfully and she came out with bread and, everything all kinds of food so i was over here at the dollar tree and i decided okay i'm gonna try to dumpster dive i go over there there's a shopping <laughs> there's a shopping cart there so i get on the shopping cart i look in and there's nothing and i go well you know this is you and the dumpster diving so i come out and this kid comes up to me and tries to give me ten dollars i go oh no i i couldn't you know i was just trying you know to see if i could find i did find some stuff you guys i found that big bag of socks and you know all kinds of junk so but that was a successful one i ha i was traumatized some kid trying to give me his money but you know when you try to give some woman a bum that looks like a bum money and, and you still get the same blessings okay so enough on that so by getting the french fries and the hot dogs i i made um, macaroni and cheese with hot dogs that was good you guys it was cheap as heck but it was good fish sticks what i like is fish sticks and rice so you get a big pile of rice you get a bunch of fish sticks you're not going to starve tuna casserole that's a good one tuna sandwiches how about those tuna melts i made salmon salmon patties or you can pour um tomato sauce over your salmon your canned salmon and bake it with rice that is good i, I usually use stewed tomatoes you know i smash them and pour it over the salmon. That is really good. Those um, can I buy uh, cans of salmon for three dollars at ninety nine cent only. And then peanut butter. You know, I buy those loaves of bread at Walmart. Mark down. I'm gonna go get some more if they have any. And peanut butter and honey. Peanut butter and jam. And then all kinds of eggs. Okay, so my my I got a couple more things my cheat meal for the day is this you scramble your eggs to perfection in a little margarine salt and pepper and you take those out you wipe the pan out and you put a little oil and you know all those vegetables i have i might make this tonight grated carrots bean sprouts i have uh you do need onion though any kind of vegetables, even frozen vegetables, and you saute that in the, um, you saute the um, vegetables in the oil, and then take those out, and then saute, you know, you wanna brown your rice, and then, because you don't wanna leave your vegetables really in, because then your rice gets, gets all, I mean, your vegetables get all beat up, so you have scrambled eggs, rice, you stir fry your, I mean vegetables, rice, 
and then you add the eggs back in and you stir fry and you season with salt, pepper, and sugar. That is gonna give you a lot of food and good food and you put salt, pepper, and sugar and you saute it around and then you have a big pile on your plate and you put soy sauce. That is my recipe for the day. Now, I have a cheap money saving tip. I make a list of what I wanna buy and then I postpone spending my money. So why do I do that? Well, that's because I wanna hang on to all my cash. Like a lot of times I will buy $5 worth of gas because I don't wanna spend $20. I'd rather have enough gas and my $15 in my wallet in case I wanna buy, <laughs> or uh, it can be anything. Like today, I wanna to refill my water for 20 cents. That's cheaper. So, today I'm looking for books marked down. Unless it is a super duper deal, I'm not buying it because I don't need anything. I'm looking for two years worth of clothes. Okay, one more thing. One of the most, the best videos I saw is that these recessions are fueled by the age of the population. Okay, so what, what has happened in China and Japan is that the workers is one to one. There's one worker and there's one person receiving government money. So this is not desirable. So it's gonna be very hard because for them to regroup. In fact, they're saying they're not going to. Okay. They're saying when the population gets to about six, 46, the children have graduated from college, they have a house, they quit spending. At that point, these people are of no use for stimulating the economy because they're not spending, they're saving now. It's, they have, but what is gonna save us is the millennials. But this thing cannot end for two years because the millennials have to age to work. And I thought that made a lot of sense. So um, that is why I'm stocking up for two years. Um, I'm stocking up clothes, food, anything I could possibly need. Do I need a vehicle for the next two years? No, because you know, this one's good enough. And so I want to encourage you guys to think about it in that way. You know, uh, if you can postpone spending because you have a stockpile, if you could go for weeks to months just buying a little, if you have, um, if you have uh, dehydrated uh, potatoes and you have canned sweet potatoes and you have rice and then you buy a bunch of vegetables like I did, which was about $5, they're marked down. And then you go for the cheap meat. You're not going to run out of food anymore. And if you're poor, it's even more important. You're gonna do what you have to do to get by. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.